All right, yeah, so. Yeah, I was wondering how the matrix he looked exactly like when there was a two here and it wasn't anywhere remotely near the reduced row echelon form. So we have the reduced row echelon form. We're looking for any non zero row. Uh, so just the first three rows R1, 2, and 3. Basis of column space of A would be any column that has a pivot. So we got meh, meh, and one final meh, right, meh. So C1, 2, and 4. Now, part C is actually pretty easy as long as you know what it's asking you for. Uh, it's it's asking if we're look, well, it's clearly asking is if there is orthogonal vector. But what it's implying is for us to find the dot product between any two vectors and see if the dot product is equal to zero. Okay, that would make them orthogonal. All right, so each column above. And see, and you can do it very quickly, I think. I don't see any reason why you would need to kind of wrestle around with that. If you just kind of go through the line, basically, I mean, if you if you if you know that you're multiplying corresponding parts and adding, then there's probably got to be some negatives in there, right? In order for that to play out. So, or a whole bunch of zeros. So put this one. This one not going to work. This one close but no cigar, right? You got a zero, not there, but zeros everywhere else. No, 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 no. So just a whole lot of no's. All right, so. None are orthogonal how should I define it um, the product I'll just make a statement product dot and dot product of any pair of column vectors unequal to zero. An example, I mean, the best candidate would have been C1 dot C3, which would have been one one zero two dotted against zero one one zero should be zero plus one plus zero plus zero which is equal to one. Right. Show all work does not mean actually show the dot product of every possible pairing of columns. It just means get the job done and justify your work. Although that hasn't stopped people before.